Good afternoon from Havar, Croatia. We are on an island hopping tour today. Um, we took a speedboat. This is the third island we've been to. So if you would like to see the islands we've gone to, stay tuned and come along with us. Our first stop was the tiny fishing village of Milna on the island of Brack. Milna means Bay of a Thousand Ships and was so named because it was a favorite port to those sailing through the Middle Adriatic. It is still regarded today as the safest and most beautiful port on the island. For years, Milna was widely known for its shipbuilding. Today it is known by tourists for its Mediterranean cuisine as well as for its fishing, sailing, and scuba diving. Nice hair you got there. <laughs> We've just arrived at our second stop, which is St. Clemens Island. And here they have a really nice, calm swim area. You can get snorkels and do a little casual snorkeling. So there's a botanical garden here on this island, but I'm not sure where. I haven't seen any signs yet. I'm just gonna walk around and explore a little bit. St. Clement is one of 16 islands in Croatia's Paklinski Island chain. There are three non-permanent settlements on the island consisting of guest bungalows, which are open from March through October. There is also a marina, a couple of restaurants, and a unique lounge bar overlooking the beautiful harbor. A shuttle boat to the nearby city of Havar is also available to guests. Havar is a port and resort town on the island of the same name. It has a long history as a center of trade and culture. During the 13th through 17th centuries, it was an important naval base for the Venetian Empire. Most of Havar's 700-year-old walls still survive, as do many of the town's buildings from the 15th through 17th centuries. If you have the time and energy to make the climb, be sure to visit the old Spanish fortress. It's perched high above the town, overlooking beautiful views of the harbor. Not bad. I'm sitting here in Havar eating gelato. Marca, chocolate and coconut. Lots of people arriving by catamaran for their stay here.
stop this here in Trogir, which dates to 300 BC. And uh, we're only gonna have an hour, about an hour here. We're gonna walk around and see just a little bit of it. Trogir is an easy day trip from Split. Ferries run six times per day during the high season, and buses run regularly year-round. Trogir has a high concentration of palaces. Its medieval center is surrounded by walls and contains a preserved castle and tower. Thank you.